Well, winning winning certainly you know, breeds confidence. There's no question about that. And the match against Lewis, I think we'd even been better if we'd have won in three instead of five. But the fact that we won in five is still a win. Uh, the fact that we played well against Loyola uh, also bodes, bodes well for our confidence level. Now we have two uh, Division II teams here uh, that are part of the South Southern Carolina Conference, uh, which has an automatic bid into our tournament. So it's real important this weekend that we uh, play well and come up with a couple wins. Boy. Uh, the Lewis match was, was a little bit interesting there, huh? Um, we won the first two sets. That was fun. We beat them pretty good. Uh, not so much fun in three and four. They, they came back and put it to us a little bit, and we, we kind of didn't rally very well to the locker room. And, you know, kind of the whole way it's been all season when our back's against the wall, we found a way to, to make something happen. And that fifth set, I think that's really what happened, is we, we kind of buckled down and found a way to make something happen when our back's against the wall. And, I mean, a win's a win. At the end of the day, we probably should have gotten done in three, but, you know, they're a good volleyball team and they weren't going to roll over, and we knew that. So uh, the win in five is really good for us and against a really good team. Uh, against, I guess, Loyola, we played some good volleyball. I think, I think they're a really good team. They're the best team in our league for sure, and, and they got some good pin hitters. It's, it's about being able to control the volleyball and, and take advantage of your opportunities, which they did really well and we didn't do so well. We got a game off of them, which is really nice, and I think we can do better at home and, and play them probably even better and maybe take, a, take opportunities a little bit better, but we'll see what happens. When you play the teams that are supposed to be better than you are, and in this case, I think they are a little better than us. It gives you an opportunity to have them on videotape and to have your players look at it and say, this is what we want to aspire to be. This is what we want to aspire to be as a team and as individuals uh, as, we, as we move forward in the season. Playing at home is so much better, especially when we've had you know 12 hour road trips where we've been dead tired playing at somewhere where we don't want to play. It's going to be great to be, have a whole month where we're just playing in front of our fans. We actually play nine out of the next ten at home, uh, so it's a, a very nice home stretch, uh, and it's an opportunity for us to uh, catch up with our schoolwork. It's an opportunity for us, for us to train a little bit harder because we're not to be traveling. It's an opportunity for us to watch more video because it's easier to watch video at home than it is on the road, and it's an opportunity for us to win some games. I hope it's it's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I've never played in front of so many people. Like I think the Ball State game was like a, over a thousand people or something like that. So it was huge. I mean, you know, like every point you get, like everybody's like. So it's, it's pretty fun, you know, um, and now I'm really looking forward to it, especially because we've been on the road and like, you know, you just get a bunch of people against you. So it's going to be fun.